There is nothing that can replace the Nintendo 3DS. It is probably the best thing at oh, the Nintendo Switch. Bye. Out of here. Let's be honest, the Nintendo 3DS is actually a really good handheld. Probably one of the best that are out there, other than the Switch, but I still consider it a console. But it is really amazing. I mean, this thing has lasted a long time, and it has such a huge library of games that you can play, and so many things that you can actually do with it. Like, I literally wrote down, like, all the list of the things I'm going to talk about right here. So this video will be about 10 games that I feel define the Nintendo 3DS era. That's right defined an era. I'm looking at you, PlayStation. If you're excited for this video and like seeing me wave around my 3DS, being worried that I'm going to drop it pretty soon, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and definitely hit the bell so you get notified when the next video comes out. And before you comment, this is not the same shirt, okay? This is a different shirt. It's just the same color, okay? Let's just get that over with. And yes, I'm wearing a beanie in 90 degrees. What do you expect from me, okay? The first game on this list of 10 games that I truly feel define the era of the Nintendo 3DS is Animal Crossing New Leaf. The reason I got this game was because a few friends have referred it to me, and I was also waiting for Pokemon X and Y to come out, so I needed something to, like, entertain myself before those games came out. And geez, did I make a good decision. Animal Crossing New Leaf is just an incredible game, all about you running, basically being the mayor of a whole town and maintaining the town. And it sounds boring on the outside, but if you actually play the game, it's super cool. I mean, you get to control so many things. Like, you get to build certain uh, projects all over the town, and the more you play, the more the game develops. You start getting more shops, shops start upgrading, you have this tiny little shack turn all of a sudden into a huge old mall. You get to an island where you can find rare bugs and you can trade them in for money. It's so interesting and I love it so much. And the way the game looks is just super nice. I mean, I'm a fan of these games where it's all about creativity. That's why I'm super excited for the new Animal Crossing and definitely Dragon Quest Builders 2. Because I, that's just the, like the style of games that I truly like. And Animal Crossing New Leaf is just an incredible game that I definitely recommend you get if you don't. And it's only for $20 if you still don't have the game, which is a huge steal and it definitely is worth the price. If not, you probably feel bad for paying so little for this amazing game. The next game on this list is Pokemon X and Y. And I mean, why wouldn't it be on the list? It was the first Pokemon games to come out on the Nintendo 3DS and they were fantastic. They were incredible because it was the first time we actually saw the Pokemon world in three dimensions. It was truly incredible. I mean, like, that, that was unheard of. Since before then, it's always been fully 2D and only maybe some cityscapes, specifically in um, Pokemon Black and White, were they ever, like, three-dimensional. But X and Y took the 3DS and went the limit and tried to put them in 3D models, and it worked. It looks really nice. Obviously, um... What's that one? Lumio City? Lumio City doesn't look like fantastic with comparison to newer games, but for the first time on a 3DS, it really was incredible. Knocked out the game. The story was really good. I just wish there was a Pokemon Z because that would have wrapped everything up because those games did leave a lot of questions if you have played it. There's a lot of questions that are unanswered about the whole Kalos region. But other than leaving all that out, this game is super exciting, super entertaining, and you will love it so much. Definitely a game to pick up. If you ask me what was my favorite Legend of Zelda game for the 3DS, I just have to answer Link Between Worlds. It is an incredible game that I truly love. It is based on Link to the Past, which I also love that game so much. But this one was super nice. I love the design of the way they made Link and all the other characters. And it was just super cool. I mean, the music for this game was amazing as well. The graphics and everything was just fantastic, ran beautifully, the bosses were pretty difficult, and it was just an entertaining game that I just couldn't put down. Uh, even when I finished it, I tried to like finish all the missions that I possibly could. It was just an incredible game, and I just couldn't let go of it. It was so amazing. I have so many hours on that game despite probably not needing to spend all those hours. And it's another one of those games that if you still don't have it for 3DS right now, it's only $20 and it definitely is worth it. It's an incredible game definitely recommend go getting it right now like right now go to the store right now i'll come with you hold on let me get my keys next on the list is a game that i think is pretty much expected 3d land i mean everyone loves 3d world for the wii u but 
you gotta get credit to 3D Land because that's basically where it started. 3D Land was an incredible game in general. I mean, it literally used the, the functionality of the Nintendo 3DS probably the best way possible than any other game on the Nintendo 3DS. It was like just outstanding how the game looks and the platforming for that game was just incredible. I mean, I loved it so much and obviously so many people loved it too. 3D Land definitely put a sales mark for me getting a Nintendo 3DS. Once I saw the gameplay of that, I just had to get a 3DS because it looked amazing. Oh my gosh. And 3D Land is super cool because like it's actually a game you probably want to 100% because at the end of the game, like. There's a secret, like, final level that's actually pretty cool and super hard, and I love that. I love that about games where they add a little secret, like, once you complete everything. Literally tried 100% everything, and you have, like, that final secret, and it was just so amazing. And that's what I loved about 3D Land. It was just an incredible game in general, and definitely worth picking up. I'm pretty sure it's $20, too. Basically, everything's $20 now, you know. When, when something dies, everything's $20. You know, when I die, all of the stuff that I own will be $20, okay, guys? No, it better not be. It better be at least, like, 300 each. Mario Kart 7 is just an incredible game that I probably played a little too much, especially with my neighbors. And I still kind of played it. Like, literally last week, I was playing Mario Kart 7 with my friends because they don't have a, uh, the Nintendo Switch. And I love Mario Kart 7. Personally, I think it's still the best Mario Kart out there. I just love the way I just love the way it works. And obviously, it doesn't have 200 CC, but it's just an amazing game. It's got amazing stages and race tracks that you can go through. And I love the Rainbow Road in that game. It's just super cool. Like for 3DS, it's just outstanding. And they have super neat cars. And literally, this was like the time when everyone wanted a 3DS because if you didn't have Mario Kart, you weren't part of the group. I wasn't part of the group. But Mario Kart 7 was just an amazing game that had so many cards, so many things to do. And it, it's just down in memory lane for me because I remember playing just too much Mario Kart 7. And I never really gone online because I didn't have internet until like I was like 2014. Yeah, I got li I got Wi-Fi like super late. So, uh, yeah. But I love the game to heart, and it really is an amazing game, and definitely worth getting, even if you have a Switch. This Mario Kart 7 is just incredible. The movement of the kart is just amazing, unless you're doing 50cc. In any Mario Kart game, 50cc sucks. But it's just an incredible game, and definitely recommend it. Hey there. I didn't see you there. You still alive? I, I hope so. If you are, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Don't... Oh, don't... I don't know. Just, just, just subscribe. Maybe I'll come up with good content if you actually subscribe. Next up is a game that I probably played a little too much. And I took this game to my school every single day. We're talking about Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. It is just amazing. It was the first Super Smash Bros. game that actually came to handheld. And it was just amazing like that. Like. It was incredible that we actually could take a Smash Bros game literally anywhere, not just at home. And it was super fun because I got to always bring it with like with my friends at school. We would always play Smash Bros, like a little too much. But we had fun and that was like the enjoyment of the game. There's so many characters in Super Smash Bros, obviously not as many as in Ultimate because everyone is there. But... It's still an incredible game, but looking back at it, it's pretty slow. I, I probably wouldn't recommend getting it if you have a Switch. Just get Ultimate. Don't get the 3DS version. It's, it's kind of slow now. But it was an incredible game at the time and definitely worth like remembering because it, it, it just it, it defined a really strong moment. I mean, at this moment, they were probably putting it out because of the new Nintendo 3DS, just you know because of the faster processing and all that. But it worked super well with the 3DS and the new Nintendo 3DS, and, and it was a brilliant idea to bring it to the 3DS, so that was that was pretty good. I, I love the game so much, I mean, like, I, I, I just can never put, I was just never able to put this down. Like, if I had a test, they I would still, I would still play this game. Like, that's how much it was so incredible. I love Super Smash Bros. a little too much. Of course, I, I'm not into it as much as I was in the past, but I still love it today, and... 3DS version is definitely what really got me like super into Super Smash Bros. I played previous games, but I guess the 3DS version and the fact that I could take it anywhere and play with my friends 
that really struck me, and I was like, this definitely defined what made me love Super Smash Bros. Next up is Majora's Mask. This game is an incredible game based off the original Majora's Mask that came out on the GameCube. However, when it got to the 3DS, I, I actually no, it wasn't a, really a surprise because we got Ocarina Time for the 3DS, which was also an incredible game. But, you know, the fact that it came over to the 3DS was just super cool, and it actually used the C-Stick functionality of the new Nintendo 3DS, so it was, it was super nice. It's an incredible game, basically talking about Link, and he's kind of got himself in the events of a moon, basically, like, an ugly looking moon, like, ugh. Basically about to crash into the face of the Earth, and it... it Oh, that moon gives me nightmares, but the game is amazing. I mean, I love so many, there's so many things that you can do in that game. So many mini games, missions that you can do. And of course, there's the main story, which you could probably beat if you try to go for the world record, like super fast. But it's an incredible game that if you take your time, it's definitely a wonderful game you'll have. It's a great time, basically, just waiting for you to... What am I saying? It's just an incredible game to play, and I just love it so much. Majora's Mask is just incredible. Unfortunately, I gotta get a copy of the 3DS version because I was playing a friend's version, and they wanted it back. So I'm gonna try and get my own version, definitely, because it's only $20, and I want to play that game again. It was just incredible. I love that game so much. Definitely worth getting. Super Mystery Dungeon! Oh my gosh! I love Super Mystery Dungeon so much. When the game came out, I was super hyped because I thought we were getting like old levels and old soundtracks because the old soundtracks were actually released super early, probably because the Jap Japan version came out early, but I was probably a bit disappointed to find out that a lot of the old songs weren't coming back and that is still disappointing, but Super Mystery Dungeon is still an incredible game. It is outstanding. Like. It is amazing. You got many dungeons, but what I loved about the game was the story was just incredible. I mean, you have this tale about, like, forgetting your, you know, the usual, like, you forget your memories and you're trying to figure out why you're here, and you have someone basically foster you, and then he literally backstabs you, and oh, you hate Nuzly for the rest of your freaking life, but it was super nice, and, and, like, the ending, oh my gosh, like, everything about that game was just incredible. Like, tears came out. At the ending of that game I just loved it so much it was it was an amazing game and it's worth getting there's so much content in that game so even when you beat the main story it's super difficult to 100% I know my friend my neighbor he's played that game so much but I'm not sure he's even 100% at it yet so that just shows you that there's so much like in that game and it's definitely worth getting if you haven't already but it, it is an amazing game for the 3ds and it's definitely better than the other Mystery Dungeon for 3DS, in, in my own opinion. I, I didn't really like the, the first one on 3DS, to the fact that I can't even remember it, and I own the copy, so... Whoops. Sorry. Next up is Metopia. I have a friend who's, like, obsessed with Metopia, but... Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I brought that up. Metopia is an incredible game. Where basically, it came from Tomodachi Life, which did an amazing job as well. I, I liked that game, it was pretty decent, but Metopia just took things to the next level. You have your Mii characters, and obviously you needed to do something with Mii characters. So, they created this game where it's all about an adventure, and you get to, you know, use your Mii's in that adventure. You get to make allies, you get to make one of the Mii's the bad guys. And then you can invite me from like random people that you've never met before. But it was an incredible game. It was a wonderful RPG and I honestly loved it so much. Unfortunately, I didn't beat it because there were other games that ended up coming out and then I completely forgot about it. So it's kind of sitting there. But when the game was there, it, it, it was really entertaining. And to be honest, if those other games didn't come out, I honestly would have been playing that night and day. I literally was playing that game night and day. I just love it so much. Metopia is an incredible game. And last, but not least, and, and like I said, this is in no order, but oh my gosh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, now, I didn't say Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Those don't belong on the list. No way. I don't want to see those on the list, but Sun and Moon were incredible games. And I want to go so much into detail, but I'm going to save that for another video. But Sun and Moon are just incredible games. Not only have they enhanced the graphics that were in X and Y and even Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, 
but they went the limit with the story. The story for Sun and Moon is just incredible. I think it's probably one of the main Pokemon games that actually made me cry, like, so badly. Especially in the ending, oh my gosh. Like, recently I was listening to the song in the ending, like, for Pokemon Sun and Moon in the end credits, and I literally got tears again. Not as many as the first time I was playing, but it was incredible. The, you have these amazing characters, and you have, like, some good challenges, and it was different because the whole island trials and not Pokemon Gyms, but it was really nice. And I will go in detail on another time, because it really is an incredible game, and I, I want to talk about it in a specific topic. But that's it! That's, that's my list of 10 games that my, my laptop keeps turning off for some reason. I gotta keep moving over there. That's my list of 10 games that I feel define the era of the Nintendo 3DS, in a personal way. I mean... There are a lot of games on the 3DS that were just incredible that I ne either never got to play or just I, I didn't bring it up for some weird reason. If you feel like I mess I messed up, if you feel like I messed up, leave it in the comments below saying I messed up. <laughs> Please don't. I tried my best. But if you feel like I missed a game, definitely leave it down in the comments below what you think your 10 love. Uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> if you think you know what your 10 uh, games that you believe define the era of the Nintendo 3DS are, leave them down below. If you feel I should do another video and about 10 more because there were just there were just too many games that I wanted to put on this list, but I had to like just pick a few. So if you want to see another 10 episodes, hit that like button and show me that you guys really did enjoy this video and definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified when the next video comes out. Until next time, take care.